So hello everyone. Sorry if it's kind of noisy out, but I really wanted to make this video outside because I've never really made a video like this outside before and it's like really really pretty even though you guys can like not see it at all. But it's really really pretty. And I'm also sorry if my air conditioner is being like really noisy in the background, but I really wanted to make this outside so I'm going to. But it is time for another scary creepy video and today this wasn't my intention. But today, I put on my Mothman shirt, and I decided since I'm wearing my Mothman shirt that it would be a good day to tell the Mothman story to you guys, because I find the story very creepy and just terrifying for people who live in West Virginia. I've lived in West Virginia my entire life, born and raised, so I just feel like this whole story is like perfect. Before I go any further, if you guys haven't seen my EVP session that me and my dad did at a cemetery, you can go watch that video. I'll put it in the description box so you guys can go watch that if you haven't. Me and my dad did an EVP session at a cemetery that's close to our house that has a lot of family members that have passed away that are buried there. And we caught a lot of cool stuff. So, yeah, I don't know why. I just really wanted to upload that video. I know that it wasn't on a day that I usually upload these videos, but... I really wanted to upload that video, so yeah, so it wasn't on a day that I usually upload these types of videos, but I just couldn't wait, so. Hope you guys enjoyed that. There's going to be more EVP sessions and things like that soon, but for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and get into the Mothman is a scary, unexplained creature with large red eyes and large wings like a moth. It was first sighted in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, and was made famous by the 2002 movie The Mothman Problem and has appeared before major world disasters. The creature often appears to have no head with red eyes set into its chest. It has been photographed and been seen by eyewitnesses and has chased and harassed a number of people. The first sighting of Mothman was in November 1966 in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Two newlywed couples were driving together on Route 62 when they saw a dark figure on a hillside up ahead. It was almost seven feet tall and it had red eyes and large black wings folded behind its back. As they watched, it spread its wings and flew into the air. They sped off, but the dark figure followed them even though they were driving at over 100 miles per hour. Later that night, a man was at home watching TV when the screen suddenly went dark and was filled with a weird pattern. Just then, he heard a loud, high-pitched whining noise coming from outside his house. When he went out to see what it was, he saw two large red eyes staring at him from the darkness. His dog took off after it and never came back. That night, the man was so scared he slept with a gun next to his bed. Another family in the area spotted a dark figure outside their house. It was almost seven feet tall with terrible glowing red eyes. The figure came onto their porch and peered through their windows. The family were so horrified that they locked their doors and called the police. But by the time they arrived, the creature had vanished. News of the strange sightings spread around the world and newspapers nicknamed the creature Mothman. Between 1966 and 1967, over 100 people saw the mysterious Mothman. On December 15, 1967, a major disaster hit the town of Point Pleasant when the Silver Bridge collapsed during rush hour traffic. The cars plunged into the dark waters of the Ohio River and 46 people were killed in the accident. That night, eerie lights were seen in the sky all over Point Pleasant. The Mothman was never seen again after the bridge collapsed. Many people believe that the Mothman had something to do with the disaster. Mothman has been sighted just before other world tragedies, such as the tsunami in India, word I can't pronounce in Russia, the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, and September the 11th in New York. In 2002, the story was made into a movie, The Mothman Prophecies, starring Richard Gere and Laura Linney. The paranormal reality TV show Paranormal State investigated the Mothman mystery in 2008. And that's all it says. I also want to tell you guys a little story myself. Actually, I've been to Point Pleasant. This bird would shut up. Bird. Chill. Actually, I've been to Point Pleasant twice. And it's really, really cool because where the bridge actually collapsed... Like, they have a little opening from where it collapsed and where it was. And they made it into, like, these stairs to where you can walk down it and go next to the river where the bridge fell. And it is, like, really, really cool. 
And then they have this um, Mothman statue that you can take pictures with. And it's supposed to be what he supposedly looked like. I got my picture taken with that two times, I believe. And then they also have, like, shops and things where you can, like, buy different Mothman, like, shirts and, like, things for your car and things like that. And then they have a Mothman museum, which I've also been into, which just has, like, different stuff from the movie and pictures that are supposedly of the Mothman and um, stories, little clips that were on the news about the Mothman and different things like that, but it was really awesome and I'm planning on going back this summer and I'm really, really excited about it, but when I do, I might make like a follow me around vlog or something so I can involve you guys into that experience with me because I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. This story is like really close to my this story is like really close to my heart because I was born and raised in West Virginia and this is like so awesome to me that this actually happened in West Virginia because not that much interesting stuff happens around here. Something like that really did happen in West Virginia and there really was something at one point in West Virginia. I just find that so amazing and it's like Mothman is West Virginia. And I just think that it's like so cool. That was it. And I hope you got... That was all I have for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys next time. And also thumbs up for my Mothman shirt.